Good afternoon and thanks for joining us right here on Midday Kentucky. It's been a busy weekend, everyone. It has been. And I have to say, I didn't give a shout out on Friday of our fantastic new images behind us. Yeah. I was re-watching the show on Saturday mm -hmm. and you know I just thought they look absolutely gorgeous. We got sick of the winter look. We were yeah, ready for we needed a time pick green. I love the That's colors. That's what we needed. Yes, How are yeah. we all? We good? Well, good. Yeah. Have a nice weekend. Yeah, I finally saw Red Sparrow with Jennifer Good. Moore. Did you, you like Friday? it? So that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Did you like it? Did you think yeah, it was Yeah, it was fabulous. Okay, what's better, the book? Or the, movie. the book was better, but I think Books the, are always I think the book is always know. better. But actually, the end had a twist that was different than the book. Really, so it was really good. I'm hoping that we see the rest of the trilogy come out awesome. as a movie. But I definitely recommend going to see it. Got you. Great, great. What'd you do? Oh, you were moving. That's well, right. we were moving, but on Friday night we actually went to an event called American Proud. It was a dinner that was held at Lansdowne. It was wonderful. It was for our veterans, past and present, and it was just it was a fantastic good event. Good for you. Yeah, Doug yeah. would have been there because he was it, there. He was one of the of presenters course. actually. And what did you do this weekend? Um, huh. what I'm sure we're about to hear all about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm thinking, what are you talking about? But I want to get to something else first, okay. which is what we'll be doing all month. Um, I just want to give, see if we can grab a full screen of behind us. Of course, March is all about colon cancer mm -hmm. for men and women. So among cancers that affect both men and women, we call it co colorectal cancer, but it is actually colon cancer, so everyone understands. Now, cancer, and now it is the cancer of the colon, okay? It's the second leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States. Every year, about 140,000 Americans are diagnosed with colorectal cancer, and more than 50,000 people die from it. Oh, wow. But this disease is highly preventable by getting screenings beginning at age 50, but if you're at a higher risk, they say have it younger as well. Uh -huh. um, our wonderful sponsors who are bringing light to all of this for the month of March, of course, we have Georgetown Cancer Center. We also have um, uh, Clark Regional Medi Medical Center and also the Marquis Center over there at the UK. Um, we'll be coming on all month and discussing pr prevention uh, oh, treatments yeah. and all those type of things as well, Wonderful. which I think it's super important. Mm -hmm. And it's a it's a conversation we don't like to talk about. And I'm actually going to physically go over and have a consultation because, as we all know, my father's dying of colon cancer as we speak. And it's something, even though I'm not old enough to have mm -hmm. a colonoscopy, mm -hmm. and we just need to see if yeah. I could be at risk. And mm -hmm. I think it's important. So we're going to film that and do something about that's that really as well. That's really good. I think that's yeah, a good thing. Yeah, that's great. A bit like you with your breast cancer screening. Right, you know, exactly. Let's you know, get out there and see yep. what it is. Hey, of course, I, now let me jump back, everyone. We were talking about what I did on the weekend. And I want to, I was nominated <laughs> by the Imperial Court of Kentucky. Now, this is an international recognized um, group of women who raise money for charities here in the state of Kentucky and, and all over the world. I just, it was very sweet, it was a community service award. Um, just bring that up, there it is right there. There we are everyone. It was called the Falsy Awards and I went to that last night. Um, of course, it's okay, I didn't win, but I will say to you, it was absolutely amazing. Now let me tell you about this everyone. Something to get behind. These are drag queens. Mm -hmm. that raise all this money. And we're talking, some of these drag queens are raising 150000 a year. That's fantastic. Let me tell you, really $150,000 a year. It's called the Imperial Court yeah. for men and women. You have to be a member to be on the court. And then they had these fundraisers all year. It is absolutely amazing how they pull That's all this wonderful. together. It yeah. is. It really is quite incredible. And also raising money for local charities, which I think is super important mm -hmm. in the LGBTQ community as well. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I quickly found out I didn't win from the award ceremony last night, grabbed my plaque, ran, <laughs> and so I could get back and start watching the Oscars. Okay. I wasted my time. Oh, I know. It I was probably one of the most boring Oscars I've ever seen. Katie, Why? you would have been in bed. Yeah. So hear our commentary, <laughs> okay? Um, it, I just, look, I get that Jimmy Kimmel was trying to be PC. Right. And I'm glad he didn't make that many jokes about Time's Up and, um, uh, I've forgotten the other one, Me Too movement. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm glad that he didn't bring it up, but 
the, the producers and the executive producers of the Oscars were really trying to make it about the Oscars and not so much about the political landscape right now. And I will say, I really did feel the presenters didn't go down that road either. Mm -hmm. They didn't really say see, much, I did they? I, I felt like they kind of did. I mean, in, did? in kind of a roundabout way. Well, see, yes. I completely missed it then. Well, they would always make mention that, you know, there was there's one female or there's four yeah, females not, nominated yeah. for this award with one male. It was always kind of like this and, and this other guy nominated. Yeah, but you it, know what I mean? It wasn't it was in like, your uh, face like the Emmys. Yeah, but I felt like it was. I felt like it was still really? in my face. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? And the thing is, is that I, I support the movement. It's not that I don't. Believe me, I do. But it's just, I, you know, I felt like it was taking away from the Oscars, from the event itself. Well, it's someone had to do something because it was probably one of the most boring. Except, it was, yeah. <laughs> I thought the um, set was absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. gorgeous out mm -hmm. deco throughout the whole show. I would have liked a little bit more razzle-dazzle like we see at the Tonys. Yes. Tell yeah. me whether you think I'm wrong. Go onto our Facebook page. Um, I have to say, I just felt it was like lackluster. Yeah, yeah. I, I like, like the okay. razzle-dazzle and all the outfits, though. I yes. like seeing you, that. Exactly Are you ready for this? Yep. Are you ready? I bought that just for you, Katie, because okay. I wanted to get your opinion. Because <laughs> we have such a different sense when it comes to fashion. So I took a look at some of the Oscar fashion. Let's bring up some of the dresses that I've... Now, look. I don't know, people. <laughs> Nicole Kidman, stunning, brought back old Hollywood glamour. Now, if you see that, it's something that they were wearing back in the 20s and 30s. What do you think? I, you know, I what? love it. I like the color and the yeah, neckline. Yeah, stunning. But mind you, when she came out on set, they changed the set to a blue color. You can hardly see her. She's had so much laser work yes. to get rid of her freckles <laughs> that the white just stood out like a beacon. And I know that because she's Australian. She used to be freckly like no tomorrow. I tell you, all that IPL works really worked. I like the dress. It was not my favorite. I don't know if I'm a big no, fan favorite, of the. No, not favorite, but still stunning. Right, yep. the bow, the big bow down oh. low like that. I just. I, I thought don't it was so Grace Kelly. I loved it. It's okay, let's call to that. No, I can never say her name. Le Petit, Le, Lapita. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are just dresses that I thought were gorgeous. It doesn't look great there, but when she walked out on stage, it, absolutely mm -hmm. stunning. It was stunning. All right, let's bring up our oh, gorgeous. You know, I love her. You know, my gorgeous yes. friend. <laughs> I have to say, Meryl Streep's absolutely gorgeous in Dior. She is. Let's bring up Summer Hayek as well. Um, interesting and bold, Katie. Uh -huh. When I chose this, I thought to myself, Katie's going to say, "Oh, I like it." Yeah, just because this was I my said favorite. I don't. Yes. See, Selma, I knew was, it. Selma and Jennifer Lawrence were my favorites. <laughs> okay. I like this one a lot. Here comes Jennifer Lawrence then. This looks stunning on mm -hmm. stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beside Jodie Foster, who came out in crutches, okay, and a pantsuit. Viola Davis, I'm sorry, she's killing it. Oh, this dress she is came gorgeous. Out in pink. Absolutely I loved it. beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It was great. Uh, can I just say to everyone, it was so nice to see color. Again, Emma Stone, yes. let's bring up that one. It's, look, Katie, this is another one I didn't like, and I knew you would like it because <laughs> it looks like she's got yoga pants on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it reminds me. If she was only wearing flats, then I would really love it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, who, I got you. Who is the Playboy bunny? Who, who's Hugh the Hefner. Man? Yes, it looks very Hugh Hefner-ish okay, to me. Okay, let's bring up our... I, I, will, I will pronounce her name wrong. Um, what was that? Sorry, my... Sersha, um, you know, it didn't work for me either. She looks washed out. What do yes. you think? Yeah, yeah I, I agree. like the color. Yeah, okay. Um, Alice and Janie, I really quite liked this one as well. I loved well. it. I loved it. I think oh, this was sorry, my favorite. Sorry, we don't have that one. Oh. I, 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 sorry, my bad. Um, Sandra Bullock, now tell me what you think of that. She's That's great. I love it. It's really flattering. Age appropriate and also yep, stunning as well. It is. Uh, Laura Dern. I don't know. I liked mm -hmm. this, people. I liked it too. I love a white dress on a woman who's tall and slender. Yep. She's she probably got a five well. inch heel on under there. Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful. Drum roll. <laughs> it's my girl, Jane Fonda. It is. It 77, is. 77, I think she is. Absolutely stunning. I'm digging the shoulders, the 80s, the look 80s style shoulders. I love it. I could sit and look at that all day. I think she's a class act. But. I do want to say one thing, Lisa, what do you notice something that I told you never to do again and she's doing it? Um, what, the hand on the hip? Hand on the <laughs> hip. It, oh, no, it's on the thigh, not the hip. It accentuates yeah. the thigh. If she'd put her hand up higher, it would have given, it would have appeased saying that she had a much smaller hip. Ah, See the hmm. difference on this? Okay. You can't, anyway. Uh, Emily uh, Blunt, I get everyone. What you're saying. Let's, Katie, I know you didn't like this. Come on. I don't 
hate it. No, but it's not one of your faves. I know, I could tell. Yeah, it's when not I my favorite, it, but I thought I don't hate she it. looked absolutely stunning. Let's, Jennifer I, Garner. Oh. oh my gosh, I thought she was absolutely stunning up on the screen as well, especially when she walked out. She just looked gorgeous. That blue dress. It there was she is. Fantastic. Look at that. It was. Look oh that. yeah, I love that. Huh? Oh, that I blue love it. is just amazing. Okay. It's beautiful. Elizabeth Moss. You know. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> you know, again. I feel like it was my prom dress from She needed, yeah, and she needed a bolder year. lip, and I probably would have put a, a, you know, a bit more of a few diamonds around her neck. Because yeah. you can't even see her face, everyone. Yeah. Helen Mirren, okay, stunning dress. The necklace was way too big and over the top when it mm -hmm. came to making a statement. The sapphires were absolutely amazing. I with like that. that. I like the combination on that. Okay, it's now beautiful. let's bring up the next one. I've got to tell you. Taraja. Jay Hansen. Uh, Taraji, Taraji Hansen. yeah, I loved her. She she Thank was you. awesome. I was that watching her um, Instagram as she was getting ready. Yeah, Taraji, yep. she knocked out of the park. I, I love it. it. Look at that Z leg. That was just Zendaya, that's hot. what do you think? I like this. Did you? I did. I liked it. It doesn't look as good in this picture. No. Um, but when she was presenting, it, really? she, I liked it. I thought it was very no. uh, youthful. All right. I'm and, letting and you have that fun. one. All right, Greta Gerwig. Um, um, let's just quickly. I liked a little bit of yellow. I thought it was a little bit understated. The jewelry mm -hmm. spiced it up a bit, but I didn't think it was Academy Award winning. Mm -hmm. Tiffany Haddish. Um, can I just say, how bad was this? <laughs> it's a real princess dress, she's is what I read. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. She's funny. Well, I think she played a joke on us by wearing that because when she came out on stage, she looked stunning in her white gown. But this, I just don't get it. Yeah, I didn't get All this right, one All right, let's either. bring up the next one, which I didn't get, and she's one of my faves, Whoopi Goldberg. She misses it every time on the red carpet. <laughs> I don't know heart. who's dressing my girl from um, The View, but it's just not happening. Right. And but it's what's, her. what's with the tattoo showing? It's the red carpet. Get rid of the tattoo. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. I think it's very whoopy. It I don't is. really That's like the dress, but I think it's All good right. for her. It works for her. All right. Okay, let's move on to Gina Rodriguez. Um, hello. Stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I want to jump in the dress myself. It looks absolutely yep. stunning. And one more. Let's just look at Ashley Judd very quickly. Um, so pretty and understated. Mm -hmm. I love that colour purple. That is gorgeous. Okay. Like a raspberry. I love it. Let's move on. Let's take a look at some of the winners. Everyone. Best picture, of course. The Shape of Water. Mm -hmm. um, I have to be honest with you. I don't think I want to see this movie. I don't want to see some... Oh, I don't know. I don't want to kiss really a fish. <laughs> There's enough fish in my life. I don't need to be go kiss them. They've been bombarding you on your. It's <laughs> too much. Ages. Katie, do you want to see it? Uh, yeah, I would see it. I haven't, but I would. Yeah. Okay. Best animated feature film is Coco. Mm -hmm. um, I thought that was very sweet that they won. Also, best directing. Um, um, Guillermo is well, Guillermo. Guillermo, thank you. Oh, yeah, it's Guillermo. hard to see up on the screen. Guillermo, what was that? Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to see in the bottom. Exactly. Um, best original screenplay is Jordan Peele. I'm out for Get Out. I thought that was amazing mm -hmm. as well. Look, look at that Nicole Kidman. Look at that. Yes. I mean, it, it's that color is stunning oh, for her. Stunning. That darn Aussie. She looks good up on that stage. She does. And then let's just do best cinematography as well. Um, tell me what you think of that. Uh, look at the set, everyone. I thought he was Australian, but I think he's slightly English. Listen to his voice. Uh, I want to share this I with my wife crazy. for 27 years, James. <laughs> whatever. He thanks his wife, but he says whatever. He goes whatever. This man, something was really wrong. Yeah, I don't get it. I don't. I know. do not. What did get you think it? about Jimmy Kimmel? Did you think that he did a good job? I, th you know what, Katie, I thought Jimmy did do a good job. I did too. I was. I thought he would have come out with a bit more punch. Okay. I didn't like that they went to the movie theatre out um, across the road. You didn't like that? I no, thought that was hilarious. No. But it was kind of Because if you remember show. last year, the guy that, um, you know, the African-American guy that came out with the, yes. the stick? Yes. And they had him, and then he's now, the poor bugger, was only out of jail three days and <laughs> became national news. Mm -hmm. He's broken up from the girlfriend. The scandal has been crazy. Because right. everyone thought he was amazing. Yeah. But the poor, you know, of course, three days out, I'm on the Oscars. Oh. <laughs> like, crazy. I w if that was me, I would have ducked under Meryl Streep's frock <laughs> and gone, don't film me, it's a disaster. Hey, everyone. <laughs> After the break, we will learn how to plan the perfect vacation with a travel agency. Stick with us, everyone. You're watching Midday Kentucky.